Hey guys, this is Rujo Sumer, and today I have for you a Rome Total War 1v1. Uh, I'm playing as Belisarius as Carthage, and my opponent is playing as Britannia. And I'm quite a bit rusty at this game. I haven't played in so long. I've been playing um, Natural Selection 2 and other games other than this. So my micro is terrible, actually. I feel uncomfortable, and usually like I'm extremely comfortable. So enough for the awkward introduction. Let's get started to the battle. What my plan was. My plan was to pretend to be a noob while um you know they hide their entire army. It's like dur 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 you can't see it and then there's a general right there, so they know that you have an army. Uh don't don't ever hide your entire army unless you're trying to act like a noob. <laughs> but yeah. So my army consists of one, two, three, four, five, six. six slingers, one of which is a Balearic slinger. I apologize for not giving you a close up. Yeah, but these dudes are pretty awesome. I love them. They're probably better than archers, actually. Just kidding, they probably aren't, but up close they are. So let's take out let's take out later. But uh we'll ch we'll check out my opponent's army first. He has two light chariots harassing me on the flanks right now. And I got Balearic slingers. So I take them out of tight formation pretty soon and those chariots were worrying me because I didn't want them to have a major impact on this battle so I hid my slingers behind my somewhat well armored pony infantry or like if you decided to charge my slingers I'd have my pony right there so again I was trying to play as a, play as a noob because he he definitely knows that my dudes are right there so it's no secret there and uh, He's wasting a ton of arrows on my sacred band, which is pretty useless unless you're firing from the flank, because these, these guys are extremely well armored. And these Balearic Slingers, God knows what they're shooting at. Hopefully they're shooting at these dudes over here. I wanted to tire these guys out, because if they did charge, I didn't want them to be effective, because chariots, when they're tired, they're kind of meh. So these dudes are, I'm just trying to uh, get them tired out. And they're winded right now, so it's working. So I'm inching up my Poeni to sort of screen my uh, slingers and protect them from attack from these chariots. So he's he keeps running away. I think he's trying to kite or whatever, but I'm not going to fall for it. So pretty soon he reaches standstill till I start to reform my lines, and then he does too, which is good. He brought more of a numbers army, while I brought more of a quality army. As you can see, I upgraded my Poeni infantry pretty heavily and my sacred band these guys are very heavily upgraded and I brought two sacred band cav because need cavalry you know unless you plan on doing a new box and I don't recommend that because new boxes are for noobs alrighty so you can see all the dead chariot men charioteers or whatever you want to call them uh, lining the forest they'll make some nice fertilizer for these trees <laughs> all these dead bodies will except for all of the uh, toxins and the metal and the clothing that they wear so that might actually mess up the environment in the long term you know you never know they might have uh, mercury in those chariots maybe that's why these troops are so scared of them because they don't want to die of mercury poisoning it's kind of ironic because Carthage was a naval power and they probably ate a lot of fish and there's mercury in fish nowadays okay it's not that funny but <laughs> anyway um he's moving his British light chariots away and I appreciate that and pretty soon he's gonna move this unit over here all the way over to my flank to try to make me forget about it the battle gets pretty messy because it's in a forest I wanted to stay in the forest because uh, I didn't want his chariots to be able to maneuver very easily, but again, I have a phalanx type army, so the forest might not be the best place to fight with a phalanx, but we're just skirmishing, and I form up my lines again, and it's sort of like this weird formation, and my enemy sees that my general unit is actually vulnerable because I turned the side, and you can see that one poor guy just got hit with an arrow. 
So I just turned these guys around and uh, had my slingers shooting the crap out of them. They're doing squats right now. They gotta have good quads in order to run away from the battlefield when melee starts to happen. That's why they're so good at running away. I'm just joking. Slingers are pretty cool. Carthage is a pretty awesome faction. I would like Pontus if their pikemen didn't suck as much, but I do like Pontus a lot too. I like the Celicids. I don't like urban cohorts. If you watch my videos, you know I don't like urban cohorts. But, alrighty, let's try speeding this up. Oh yeah, I hit a round shield cav in the woods, but they don't really have much an effect on the battle, because there's like my throwaway unit. So I reformed my lines, and I moved up some cavalry. I was planning to strike like the gorgeous middle right here with all these slingers before the melee troops could get in and uh, wreck havoc. So pretty soon I set up my sacred band cav on a suicide mission, but it's not really a suicide mission because it's smart. But I see that this place was vulnerable, nice and soft. His uh, chariots were way back there, so my guys are gonna go in for a nice little crap. It's still fast forwarding. They're gonna go in for a nice little charge, going pretty slow. I wanted them to go fast, and then I accidentally clumped them together. So as I said, my micro was pretty bad. I meant to send one cav over here and then one of them over here, but I think they get stuck on these uh, world warriors. And that is no fun getting charged by world warriors. I'll tell you that much. So I try to get them out of there. I think they did some fairly decent damage. Meanwhile, my slingers were providing some sort of cover fire. And these world warriors are just hitting my horses, horsemen in the butt. So I see that my opponent sh shifted his lines so I'm, I meant to shift mine too. So I'm going to shift my sacred band to face that threat. And then, oh my goodness, get out of there cavalry, jeez. But <laughs> anyway, I'm going to shift these sacred band cav, no, sacred band infantry to meet this threat over here. And I see a bit of stuff going on over here, so I put my guys over here into phalanx mode. So they can easily take out the infantry. I don't think he heavily, heavily upgraded the infantry, he went for more of a numbers army. So victory on this flank was pretty easy. Meanwhile, this flank, he clumped all of his guys together. My sacred band love that. Let you enjoy that. Alright, this definitely needs some uh, louder fighting and dying sounds. So I'm going to increase the volume a little bit. There we go. Get some music going. Alrighty. Let's continue the massacre. I'll just let you guys enjoy some of that melee going on. Shoot, stupid tree in the way. I hate nature. And then he sends in some heavy chariots, but since this is heavy infantry and they're heavily upgraded, they don't get scared that easily, they don't die that easily. So this is where it gets messy. I divided my army into two parts. I should have done that. Should have kept cohesion. And the Sacred Band Cav, I think they get caught between the Chariots and um, the World Warriors. But eventually I turned my Sacred Band Cav, or Sacred Band Infantry around to face the threats facing them. And then I moved these, uh, this Poeni Infantry around to support. But yeah, my micro is terrible as you can see. I'm just letting my guys get massacred over here. But I send in my um, Sacred Band Cav for a little charge against his troops, his head hurlers. And his Barbarian Warlord just tore apart my Sacred Band because they weren't in Phalanx formation. But I got them into it just in time, I think, before real damage was done. And finally, I killed a Britannicia. Britannic general. And then I switched these guys around because they don't like taking head in the butt, if you know what I mean. Tee hee hee hee. But they just charge these head hurlers. They can take him into melee. 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 Let's check out what else is going on over here. But right now it's pretty much a, a cleanup operation. These head hurlers and chosen swordsmen are... I don't think they're enough to take out the rest of my tough sacred band infantry. 
once my sacred man infantry start to get fighting these guys stop being lazy over here yeah then uh, everything goes well let's check out this clump over here I don't even know what's going on yeah the, I think I'm just turning everything the wrong way pretty much but oh yeah my sacred band are they even my sacred band aren't in phalanx but they can still take these guys out let's watch some oh ew heads on his belt I get in trouble if I went to school with a belt like that. <laughs> oh, he goes for a light chariot charge in the back of my men, but they're phalanx troops, so they turn around in time. So yeah, this this battle's pretty messy at this point. And I think and all the sweeter for being so decisive. Yeah, my opponent uh, uh, declared defeat. I mean defeat. Uh, good game to my opponent. I hope you had fun. I sure did with this battle. It was messy. And it was awesome looking. So, everyone who watched this, please have a 